Welcome to the totally awesome outdoor show. Now, I do love my bird feeders and I love the birds we get in the garden. A huge variety. And of course, we feed them. Of course, we need to bring them into the garden and to help them through the winter, through those cold months. All the different fat balls you can get, the different types of seeds you can get. And do you know, one of the seeds I found they absolutely love above all others, it's a plain old sunflower seed. Now, all bird lovers know when you put that out, it generally gets eaten pretty quickly anyway. But I was thinking about it, how can I get the best benefit out of those sunflower seeds? Not just to feed the birds, but for my own enjoyment as well. Now, all you've got to do is get yourself a small handful of the bird seeds you've bought. I haven't been to a garden centre. I haven't bought special packets of sunflower seeds. In fact, I have no idea what the Latin name of these sunflower seeds are. I just thought, I'm going to plant them, they germinate, I'll get the seedlings, I'll plant the seedlings out just in our regular clay soil and they're going to take potluck. Luckily for me, they came out, they've grown to somewhere around six foot. It's now in the autumn so they're starting to tone down, they're going to seeds and of course I've had the enjoyment of those flowers all summer and now I can harvest those seeds as well. And do you know what? The birds get coat, well they get everything coming on, they think all their Christmases and their birthdays have come at once. But I will have hopefully another supply of sunflowers through the winter. This is how I do it. Once the flower has had its moment of glory, come the autumn it's going to start decaying, it's going to start dying back. And then as you can see here, the petals are off it and basically you can crumble off the front of it and as it crumbles away, it reveals beneath the black seeds. So that bright yellow centre has gone that was so vivid during the summer, it falls off easily. If it doesn't fall off easily, then it's you know not ready to take to seed. And if you've got to pull the petals off, it's still not ready. There's still, although there's no life left in this particular one, it's fading back. It's not really ready for harvesting, shall we say. This one, as you can see, is. And then I go around harvesting all the heads, just snipping them back with a pair of secateurs. You can use scissors if you want to. And um, bear in mind, this was just all giving me some color, a little bit of vibrant color through the summer, a bit of fun, and it cost me nothing because all these seeds just came out of a packet of bird seed, can you believe? So snip them all off, but leave the ones with the petals. Don't cut those off. As you can see, they don't rub off the front. They're still stuck to the seeds at the back. So that one is not ready for harvesting. Get a bit more fun out of the color and only take off the dead ones. Once you've collected a good number of these, in fact, really, basically, I try and do them all at once. I try and let all of those heads run to seed if I can. There'll always be a few hangers on with give you a bit of color there, but I want to get the bulk of them done into my box there so I can start to dry them out and work on them. Now you can see here, some of these have already fallen down because we get a lot of wind up here and it's very dry soil and it's south facing. So they tend to have what we call burnt out a little bit and when they fall down like this, especially in the autumn, just be aware that when they touch the grass, there's going to be a lot of dew at that time of year and they could rot the heads out. I'm still going to cut them, but we're going to have to dry them out properly. And the benefit, of course, the rest of the stem, when it's pulled out like this, I let it die off bend them up, they make great compost as well. Nothing wasted. So there you can see from about, what, 50, 60 seeds from that uh, packet of bird seed I bought, not garden seed, just regular bird seed, same thing of course. I've got a huge number of heads here, a huge number from which to collect, dry, and keep my sunflower seeds. So what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna lay them out in the potting shed. You would think well, we'd dry them out somewhere like the greenhouse. No, that's too harsh. That's too Even in the late autumn, that's still too harsh an environment, I feel. I think they're better off kept in a cool, dark place that is dry. Could be a garage, could be a greenhouse. And I try to separate them because you don't want them getting damp. You want to keep them dry. You want them to dry out. 
but I'm just going to show you with this one because this has been dried in the sun it is a giant sunflower head I'm going to basically knock all this off just to show you how many seeds there are in this one head and I've only done this as a sort of pastime if you like you can see again where the birds have already started on this and I'm going to be using a white tray just here like this now generally I would just dry the heads first and then when it's dry I rub them and they come out I'm just going to do this to show you just for now take it put it over the top of the white tray and just gently break it apart look at this lot coming out unbelievable just roll them gently now this one's not totally dry because it was damp overnight last night but I'm doing it just to show you what it looks like on the white tray you'll be able to see all these seeds coming out the heads again compost them good for the garden so you're wasting absolutely nothing so I'm going to dry these heads I'm going to lay them out individually on my potting shed table in there give them about three weeks or a month and then I'll take them out put them in the kitchen and I can sit at my leisure and strip all those seeds out as I showed you just now when I'm gone But I'll be back someday So keep searching through now You can either put these sunflower heads out when they are dry on their own as you can see here I've laid this down last night and already this morning all the birds have been round there uh, especially the blue tits and I believe the nuthatch has been there as well pecking away and has actually started stripping them out or you can put the seeds loose I don't put too many loose seeds in the actual open tray because you get pigeons and they'll just scoff the lot but the loose seeds I've taken off can go into the bird feeder and obviously that's only the small birds that can get it and that's what you want so there you can see you can have some great enjoyment and fun growing these giant sunflower heads and don't forget one seed can provide several huge heads like this so I've enjoyed watching the flowers through the summer the birds well they're almost up there ready to come down now I'm going to watch those all through the winter and all through planting one tiny little seed thanks for watching the totally awesome outdoor show hopefully you got some tips there hopefully you'll have some fun with both the flowers and the birds we'll see you again next time Trapped in space Still living every day In a positive way I know it's hard When I'm gone